Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Horn, and I want to thank you for tuning in today. Uh, I have a few thoughts on my heart about uh, about being a watchman, about being a gatekeeper. And uh, I tell you what, uh, the authority that we have in the name of Jesus is awesome. And uh, it, it is amazing to see what happens when we step into it. I'll just say it that way. But uh, the scripture says in um, Isaiah 9, and I felt like the Lord impressed me to, to share this with people today, that of the increase of his kingdom and peace, there is to be no end. And so what that tells me is the increase of his influence in your life, in your ministry, in your business, uh, it, there's to be no end. And that means that there should be a decrease of the influence of, of, uh, of the gates of the enemy, so to speak. And, uh, and the Lord has put it on my heart just to, to share a few things that I've learned um, concerning this. Uh, you know, a lot of people are still being influenced um, in a major way uh, by, by the demonic realm, by the world, the spirit of the world, darkness, so to speak, is because they're, they're praying according to their senses. In other words, we pray we pray in, in, in Jesus' name, and, uh, and that's all good. But then we keep praying. We keep praying according to our senses, and we allow our senses maybe uh, to dictate, um, you know, that we aren't uh, really healed, and we keep praying. But the, the truth is that we are, and uh, there's more power in your words than you may realize. And, and the Lord's called us to operate in in faith, and we're supposed to call those things that be not as though they are. We're not supposed to doubt. And when we give voice, and when we allow our senses, uh, our outward man, our feelings, our emotions, whatever we feel, to dictate that we're still not healed, well, we're just allowing that enemy to stay there, so to speak, and to influence us. But the way to to see that enemy decrease is to is to pray the word in the name of Jesus. And uh, whatever you do, you, you speak only what God says. You believe it. You act like it's true. Even if you're sick and you don't feel like it, uh, even though uh, the, the circumstance says something or your bank account says something, no, you, you stand on the promises of the Lord and, uh, and you'll start to see that greater influence you'll start to see the kingdom and his peace will begin to crush those gates of the enemy put them under your feet and uh, you'll be a happy camper i'm telling you this is a revelation and i hope that this is blessing you today and uh, the lord's put it on my heart to uh, to share a prophetic message here this past weekend and uh, it's called uh, watchman on the wall and uh I want to encourage you, if you're interested in hearing more about that, I'll put the link below. Uh, but I hope that this has blessed you today, and uh, I want to encourage you, uh, you know, check back, uh, and, and I'm going to try to share more and more of these. If you're watching this on uh, Ustream or on uh, YouTube, please uh, follow us, hit the subscribe button, that'll bless us, and visit our website. We have a lot of resources coming. More and more, the Lord's uh, drawing people into our ministry to have real grace to build you up in the stature of Christ. So, pray you have a blessed day.